Hello, I'm Liz Lumley of Finextra, and we're here at EBA Day in Helsinki. And today I'm speaking to Teresa Connor of RBS, and we're going to talk about banking rails or, or the plumbing. Um, and of course, everyone knows that, that everyone's bank plumbing is, is pretty much commoditized. It's, it's, it's kind of the same everywhere. So how do banks really differentiate themselves then? It is true that increasingly the payment industry and rails are standardized and commoditized, but that is a good thing because that allows PSPs to concentrate more time, effort and resources on the differentiators and the things that are going to make a difference to the clients, that's going to increase competition and is going to move the industry forward, so that's good. But, but the other thing I, I want to say before we move on to differentiation is that it really shouldn't be underestimated quite the skill that's needed to keep rails reliable and safe and trustworthy. Clients value them and the industry values them, so much so that when new products and services are launched, and regardless by which PSP, typically they will either be delivered and or settled by existing payment rails, and that, that's quite something. And the, the whole rail space actually is something that we explore a bit further in the World Payments Report, which comes out in September of this year. So saying all that, I mean, the rails are pretty much the same though, aren't they? They are similar, but not identical. Many organisations have grown by mergers and acquisition, and I think it's fair to say that if you were designing many organisations from scratch today, you wouldn't have the payment infrastructure that we currently have. And for that reason, an awful lot of organisations, PSPs, including FIs, are seeking to simplify their payment infrastructure. And, but that's not at the cost of sort of the value that clients attach to them in, in the sense of security and reliability. But for me, you know, the rails are a bit like roads. You get side roads, you get main roads, and you get motorways. And what's important to clients is that what tra what's traveling on those roads and not necessarily the roads themselves. So you've mentioned roads and you've mentioned um, rails. So um, in addition to you know, these, these safe, secure rails that banks provide, what else do, do clients want? First and foremost, clients just want to concentrate on growing their own business. So what they want from their partners is somebody who will take the time to listen and to understand their business and then to help them grow as quickly and as efficiently as possible. And banks have a big role to play there. Increasingly though, the raft of regulation that is impacting banks is starting to be felt by clients and Bar 3 is a good example of that. The impact upon a bank's balance sheet because of Bar 3 in a capital, a leverage and a liquidity sense means that we need to sit down with our clients and examine the products and services that we provide to them and make sure that they're commensurate for the risk on our balance sheet. Now that doesn't mean that we're going to sort of withdraw a shed load of products and services, we're not, but we need to ensure that whilst clients' needs are met first and foremost, that they own the most, the most appropriate product for the risk that's on the balance sheet too. And as regulation increases, banks and PSPs have a greater need to help clients navigate through this space so they can concentrate on the core thing which is growing their own businesses.